Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. We've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today, so let's get started. Today, we're going to offer a little life help, Mm. kitchen organizers. (sighs) You know, it makes a difference. All organization makes a difference, but the kitchen is the place where you're you know, in it all the time. It has to be functional. So we've got some really great tips and ideas for you today for episode mm-hmm. 194, Life Help Kitchen Organizer. And the show notes can be found at decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash 194. Mm-hmm. And along the way, we'll even just give you some organizing tips too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yvonne, why don't you kick this one off for us? Well, you, you know that messiest spot in your kitchen? Think about I know where like everybody the, dumps everything. The, or spot? just to think about like the cabinet or drawer that's the messiest spot. And that's we, a tough one. Which one, which one ah, do I go with? Which I was looking for spot? some tape this morning and I, you mm. know, there was this little cabinet we had where we would, you know, my daughter, the one with Down syndrome mm-hmm. would sneak food in the middle of the night. So yeah. We had, had this catch all drawer. We had to put the child lock. That's where we had the chips, the crackers. And uh, that's where we ended up keeping some other things because she'd eat a whole thing of bananas. And so I was looking for this tape today. I opened that drawer up and I found old bread, old bananas. Oh, gosh. And I oh. was like, and I knew this was going to happen. I keep Nina, geez, them. this is the dark side of you. I would I never guess you would <laughs> have an old, old moldy Banana. bread in your drawer. Well, no, I don't put this. This is, I told my family, stop putting bread and bananas <laughs> in here because this is going to happen. It's all going to go and bad. Did. So, because you're going to forget you put it in there. And because other people are putting it in there. I'm not paying attention to what's in there. And I'm like now afraid to go to the back of the cabinet. No, oh, bless what's your back heart. There. <laughs> well, it would take more than a child lock to keep me away from the chip drawer. We call <laughs> that, we call that Those our, child locks. They're yeah, for kids. <laughs> those quote, we call it the quote unquote junkie drawer and everybody goes in there, but now it's just filled with good stuff because I can't keep any of that. Now, when the kids come home or we have weekend guests, it's a little more junky. But even like we have like uh, sesame seeds and um, uh, what are those? Those little rounds that are made out of the puffy rice stuff um, that nobody eats but me. You know, that's in that drawer now. And and we keep our packets from the uh, from the fast food Chinese um, uh, restaurant in there now. But my messiest drawer, it, we call it the Tupperware drawer. Oh, that drawer. I hate that drawer. That drawer. Well, that drawer I try to clean out. And I don't know about you. You know how like socks somehow try to escape and there's only like one left in the drawer because the other one has escaped like it is dead on the road somewhere. And I that's what happens with my lids. Really? You like know, my tops recently... and bottoms don't go together anymore. Well, that's interesting. You know, we recently just kind of threw out all of the food storage containers and went with the mm-hmm. glass ones with the snap on lids. Yeah. And they fit so nicely in the drawer because they're all rectangular and square. And then they stack on top of each other. And it's made such a difference with my storage. So honestly, there's, and it's kind of, you know, how the, that drawer grows too. You mm-hmm. end up with like oh, a jillion my. containers. So I threw them all away. We just have the square and rectangular ones. It's so neat and tidy. So now that drawer is my drawer and uh-huh. it's perfectly neat and clean and straightened all the time. You know, Anita, that was my tip. That Oh, were, sorry. No. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You just, you are voicing what I, what I, Say that's a good thing, I, and I like the idea of my food sitting in glass. And I, you know, the, the the plastic lids. You're right; they stack so nicely because you know if we would go to the store and get like when we had a lot of company, like a big container of chicken salad, let's say. Well, you know that's a good storage container, but in a you know you can only have so many of them and then they don't get so nice they don't they don't clean very well so i transferred everything to glass and here's another thing i keep in there ball jars they oh, are yeah. wonderful containers 
for leftovers, vinaigrette, all kinds of, you know, really things that you keep in your fridge. And they look so much nicer than all these plastic containers thrown in there. Well, and the glass is BPA free. I mean, that's why we do the glass, but it because mm-hmm. they're rectangular, they fit so much better in the drawer. The they round do. shape is really not take making good use of your storage in your refrigerator or in your drawer. And I'll tell you a great source, IKEA has really great glass containers and home goods. Oh. They're not that expensive. Yes, yeah, so I'm I'm always I always pick up maybe, you know, I have been one or two while I'm at home goods and they just they all work and then I have like a little um an upright it almost looks like one of those old-fashioned toast uh, containers like I, that you put your toast in upright and I have these little mm-hmm. dividers but they're like you know they're like uh, for the Tupperware lids you mean? yes plastic yes. covered wires and I stick yes. them all in there by size so it works wonderfully and I actually have something similar to that in a in a, a cabinet in my a kitchen where I keep all the baking trays and the big wood cutting boards mm-hmm. and and it's packed in there I mean there's a lot in there but it it's so much easier to get stuff out because it it's just so not everything falls over when you. Put I have that out. too, Anita. And if yeah. you uh, if you're going out of my mudroom into my garage, to the left hand side, right outside in the garage, I have a we call it the Amish cupboard because I got it at an auction for like forty dollars. It's this huge monstrosity, and it probably was in an Amish home. And I have like all my bigger baking things that I don't use every day. And that's exactly what I use for like my muffin tins. Um, and anything that needs to stand upright goes in there. So that's a really good idea. Well, I don't have a junk drawer. Oh, oh I really don't. It. No, I'm I'm really very organized. I I'm sure I have a lot of faults and people could say what they are, but one of, <laughs> but I am very organized. Um and I thank my mom for that. Thanks, Jerry, for that gene. Yeah. So I don't have a lot of, uh, of stuff mm-hmm. in a lot of these drawers. I don't like but like you guys know, I don't like to throw things out, really. I like to reuse things. So I do, you know, do what Yvonne is saying about, oh, that's a really great, oh, that, sh- you know, sw- hot and sour soup came in that. I could use that. <laughs> yes. I could use that. Okay. But, you know, mm-hmm. you have to tame that and you have to keep that in control. Um, my number one tip is purge your kitchen. Before you yes. go and buy yourself glass jars or before you give that plastic container another second look, just purge it. If you're not using it, get rid of it. If you have four of the same thing, gift it to somebody, get rid of it. I mean, you know, this is something that keeps coming up in our conversations, mm-hmm. whether it's about decor or organizing or just how you run your home, but it's so important. And the kitchen is a place where, you know, you you might not say, oh, well, you may not be like me and have a lot of end tables, you know, but you may have a lot of Tupperware or you may have a lot of frying pans or you may have a lot of two sets of flatware, daily flatware, but you really only need one. Mm -hmm. So go through all of that and let's, let's just do that together. Okay, so sometime oh, this so this smart. week, right? You're listening mm-hmm. to this on Wednesday. Maybe by Saturday, get get a box, a mid sized box, or a shopping bag, and just see if you can fill it, just that up with things that you don't use or don't need from your kitchen. Either past mm, their prime, smart. could go on to somebody else, uh, or you know, you drop it off for, at a consignment store or something like that. So you have a lot of ways to get rid of it. Well, and, and can I give add yourself some to- more space? I just want to add on to what you're saying, because I think sometimes we feel like, well, I paid good money for that. I'm not getting rid of it. But the reality is it's stressing you out because there's too much stuff in there and you probably don't need 20 wooden spoons. So just keep, you know, the five best or the three best ones and give the rest of them away to somebody who maybe doesn't have any wooden spoons. Exactly. That's exactly right. With the pots and pans. And I've gotten rid of all the Teflon ones and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah I mean, the Teflon ones mm. you, mean, you have to be really. And I actually bought a cast iron one, and I don't remember where I got it, and I don't remember the brand, and I'm not even sure if I'm right in saying this, but I think something went awry. I mean, it's some the the cast iron like the finish shouldn't come off of that, right? I mean, 
it what? started to come off. And I the thought. The finish. The finish. Yeah. Like, what do you mean the finish? What are you talking about? I know. It was just. So it's like I thought. a black somewhere or something? What are you saying? Yeah. Or did it get rusty? Like it was flaking. And that's what. Was no, it rust? No. Was it rust? There's something wrong up? with that. Yeah. So I just, you know, if you have anything well, like that in a pot and pan, like you're saying, yeah, like the, the, awesome. um, the, the, you know, the nonstick and all of that. You should really think about that and read a little bit online about how that's not so good for you because mm-hmm. that can, once it conducts the heat, you know, that can come through into your food. So get rid of those. If you well, yeah, are and the questioning aluminum. it at all, toss it. Yeah. Mm, and so, yeah, I, I got rid of all my aluminum pans, but the cast iron, you know, that's, you can get iron in your food in a good way. So, yeah, I've, I've never, I mean, it's truly iron. like, all the way through cast iron. I've never seen it ship except if it gets super, super rusty. I can see how the rust would make flakes. No, no. It yeah, that is oh, no. I don't, know rusty, where you got, no. I don't know where you got that thing, but okay. I don't, get I don't either. Well, let's get off of cast iron flaking plates. <laughs> okay. And let's, and, and I agree with you. I keep a pretty ordered kitchen and here's what I do. I spend 10 minutes every day in every, in every, and just, I just go from one side to the other and keep rotating, um, and going around and around 10 minutes a day, organizing a drawer or a a cupboard, like going through it just a real quick. Okay. I don't need this. I need, I mean, it's so fast. And then if you get them all in order, it doesn't take a lot of time just to do a little check and to see that everything's in order. But here's where I, here's where sometimes I stumble. I am very, I'm very particular about my refrigerator and what goes in it. And I try and I, and I purge that once a week. And if I don't purge it once a week, there's trouble in river city because Hmm. there's a lot of bad things that could happen in your refrigerator in a week. And I love those refrigerator containers. They're like lucite to keep like things together in a refrigerator. It, first of all, it looks so pretty and I really like that, but also it's very practical because you can keep all your light things together in your refrigerator. You just pull out your, your um, lucite bins to get your So are you, know, you saying you purchased or- a separate thing that did not come with your refrigerator? Yes, they can come. They come loose. Like if you are a okay. like a sparkling soda drinker and you drink it in cans, you can have um, this loose like container that is, fits cans perfectly that because oh. my kids love um, sparkling soda and I don't have one of those sparkling soda makers. But so I just keep like a line of those in my refrigerator when they oh. come because they so drink where do you sparkling. get something like that? Amazon? I will put it in the show notes. Yeah, okay. Amazon. Yeah, make we'll make put it in the show notes. Okay. But when you're cleaning your refrigerator, I take everything out and I really am. Uh, I use thieves cleaner. It's a, um, made with essential oils. And I absolutely love it. And it works great because it's just, there's nothing on toxic. It's all non-toxic and I can use it around my food products, but um, just always keeping a tab on things that are going to get out of hand and go and just do it. I just do it like, you know, clean, clean your kitchen sink every day. When you clean your kitchen sink, open a cabinet, see if everything is looking good because I'm not the only one that puts things away. Right. Yeah. Once in a while, I have a little hissy fit <laughs> about the proper drawer to put like my cooking utensils in because oh, they're there's divided. Too many people in my kitchen, I can't find anything because mm-hmm. just, I wasn't the last person that cooked. Oh, them. I'm like, and now my kids will say, "Mom, where does this go?" Like my fish spatula. Well, it goes in the right hand drawer beside the oven, you know, because I don't have a big uh, crock that has all those. I just have a big crock that has my wooden spoons in it (laughs) that I love. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. 
So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with quince. Go to quince.com DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. So Yvonne's saying she's, she has these organizers for her fridge, which is a new yes. one to me. Oh, there's tons of yeah, them. I, don't, I, I tend don't not those. to buy organizer things, although I am entranced by the container store. You know, just, mm-hmm. just something about oh, yeah. that place. That, having the organizing oh, yeah. gene in me, I'm like, oh, you know, that. But that being said, I like the idea of it, but I don't want to go out and buy other things to put things in True. because then you Me have too. other things that you have to find a place for that. And then where right. do you put your pretty decor things that you actually want to see? There you go. So I'm, I, I'm with you there. Yeah. So what I but like to in do- In a refrigerator? Well, no. I mean, the refrigerator side. Oh, That's okay. why I said your okay. your tip was a new one to me. I didn't know about okay. that. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying on my counters, I don't have too many things. Mm-hmm. And what I do have, I like to have uh, pretty things that I will enjoy seeing, but also that have uh, a function. Like I have these canisters from France. Well, each one of those canisters holds something. Some is, uh, <laughs> you know, matches, if, you know, for, so like the candles. Another one has batteries in it. Another one has um, safety pins in it. You know, as you go down the line, you know, yeah. the smaller the item, you, you have them in. Another one has um, the little um, measuring spoons, things like that. So that's a, such a cute idea. All being used. Mm-hmm. My white pitchers that sit in a tray on my counter are, I think, lovely and uh, mm-hmm. you know, nice visual interest there, but each one of them functions. One holds the uh, olive oil in it. And another one holds the uh, couple of books of matches that I'm using every night now to light the candles that mm-hmm. we eat with. You know, the extra matches are in the canisters. Another one has, you know, some other, like it's the random thing, like, oh, I back of an earring, uh, you know, uh, a hair <laughs> See, tie. I don't have- know whose, you know, <laughs> chapstick this is. And everybody knows that white picture. Like if you're missing the back of your earring, go look there. It's, but I, so I don't have to have them thrown in a drawer. Kelly, you don't have a drunk junk drawer. You have junk, a junk picture. A junk like for all those little well, right. things. But it's all organized. And you know, yeah. this is, I think this is my biggest tip is what Kelly is saying is that when you organize things, you can put them in an ugly plastic container or you can use something beautiful that you already have in your home. That's right. That's so right. I use an old ironstone pitcher and that's what my mm-hmm. wooden spoons are in. And sometimes I've used a silver pitcher or a silver champagne bucket. There's so many beautiful things that you can use to store things. And I mean, just try to be creative. There might be a pretty bowl you can put things in mm-hmm. or uh, some other, maybe a 
some sort of piece, uh, maybe like a tiny little terrine or, or butter holder with a lid. I mean, just try to be creative and think of things in your, in your house that you exactly. could use to store these things. And then you get to look at these beautiful things in your kitchen. And I too don't have many things on my countertop, but what I do have, I try to make really you beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm with you girls, but I'm going to take you over to the pantry. I have th- a three big, um, three big cabinet pantry that I keep most of my food stuff in, most of my dry things in. And, you know, it's deep. So I'm rifling through to the back of it. So I got tired of that at one point and I bought these great little square baskets. Well, they're rectangular baskets and um, I keep like things in there. So one of the baskets, and I can only put in what I can if it, there's overflow, that means I have too much. Like I know I've got like my um, canned, like my kidney beans, my um, tomato sauce, my tomato paste, that kind of thing in one. And I have another one that maybe has like a, a, a box of maybe macaroni and cheese or, you know, whatever it is I have in another one. And then I have two Lazy Susans in a, in the cabinet and one of them contains all of my oils you know, avocado oil you know canola oil olive oil those kind on a on a and it can turn around so you can see it and on another one i have my vinegars like you know champagne vinegar red vinegar red wine rice vinegar all of those and so all i have in, and and i do have like four beans and rice and breadcrumbs. I take them out of the boxes and I buy big ball jars and I keep them in and I have a label maker and I label what's on them. So I can see them so easily. And it really has that organizing, just pretty baskets, ball jars and a label maker. And you're, and so when I open it up, it just looks so nice, but well, it's I well love, organized as well. I love using those glass jars to store things because you can see right in it what's in it. And I actually have in my pantry, some baskets. They're, they're kind of like trays. So they're mm-hmm. maybe uh, four inches tall and it's a basket, but it's flat and it's, I don't know, maybe two feet wide by two mm-hmm. feet deep or something. But those are in my on the shelves in the pantry so I can pull the whole thing out. And it's just especially nice when you have things like little packets of things and it's not boxes and cans that sit nice right. and flat, but if it's a bag of nuts or something and it just has organized and I have one for, you know, like maybe some pastas, maybe one for nuts and dried fruit. And so I have it organized nicely and, and yeah, I mean, it just really is, it makes it a such more, so much ple- more pleasant experience. Oh, going it in the pantry, really does. Knowing where everything is, and then it doesn't look messy when you go in there. And, you know, you're talking about little pa- packets. I have something called Whip It that I really love. I make my own whipped cream and it stabilizes it. it. It really works well. And um, if I keep like Lipton onion soup mix, if I'm going to do like a slow cooker beef or something, just those kind of things things in there, um, packets. I put them in a glass jar with a lid, with a glass lid. And I could just whip that out and rifle through that and and find what I need. Yeah. It's just such, such an, such an easy thing to do because, um, oh gosh, earlier this year, I had both of my, like all my kids at home. And I said to them, listen, I'm cleaning out my pantry. And we took everything out of it. The girls helped. And I literally like, you do not need five bottles of ketchup. Well, you know, every time I went to the store, I guess I don't have ketchup. So I said, take whatever you want. Just make sure I have one. And like, you know, Mm -hmm. if I tomato paste, I took a couple and I put everything back and I was just determined that if once this basket gets full and it's just like you, Anita, I could take it out. That's it. My, my kids went home with a stash and then I gave the rest to our, our local food pantry. Oh, that's and I felt idea. really right. good about it. Yeah. Yep. And, mm-hmm. and here's the thing, you just go and do it because 
you know, at some point the stuff's going to get so old that no one's going to want it. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to end up throwing it out and it's going to make you sad. And yeah, yeah. (laughs) It's going to make you sad. And we don't want you to be sad (laughs) over a pack of soy sauce. That's right. (laughs) Well, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about cans and boxes and things that you pay good money for. And besides, um, and if something I need to see, like those lazy Susans are so fabulous. Now I wouldn't put canned goods on this. That would be a little heavy, but something in glass, like if you have pastas and you put them all in glass containers and, you know, you could uh, uh, roll it around. So how does the lazy Susan attach itself to the shelf? Is it just the weight of it holds it down or do you have to do something? Well, it's it's in my pantry. So yeah. And my pantry shelves are tall enough that I can Uh just sit that big lazy Susan in there and just put like all my oils and then my Mm -hmm. vinegars. And I know this one's oil, this one's vinegar. So if I'm doing a grocery list, I can just spin it around and see, okay, I know I need this week. I actually know I need canola oil. Right. So the depth, Mm -hmm. so if someone was interested in doing that, they would have to uh, make sure they had enough depth in their shelf. Right. And then just, you know, make sure that the product description of the lazy Susan has a certain number amount of clearance, right? Because it has, because it's round. Well, but also you can get small lazy Susans as well. We'll put a few. Well, if you push them in there and they fit, they're going to be fine because they're round. Mm-hmm. So it's not going to be, you know, if you can fit it in there it, as you're turning it, it shouldn't mm-hmm. hit anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying to make if sure you that get it, it fits online in there, or something, you yeah. have to just, oh, yeah. you, you have to do your do measurements. Some, mm-hmm. And then that's right. Do your compare. measurements. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about spices? I think that's sort of a, a hot spot in for oh, organizing. We uh, when we did that pantry purge, I took mm-hmm. out all of my spices. Why I thought I need like four garlic salts, like for he- garlic powder, not even. Garlic no, but it salt. is what you're saying. For it's like you go to the store and you know you want to make a recipe, and you're like, oh, maybe I don't have that. Let me just get another one. Yeah, and then, that yes. Even four. Yes. Well, what I'm lucky enough is on my pantry doors, I actually have. Um, the doors actually have room to store things. Mm -hmm. And so what I do is I get the smaller ball jars, excuse me, and I consolidated all my spices in those. And then with my label maker put, so I've got this, it's really pretty. And I have like my daughter, of course, then does all the baking things on the top and, you know, and I put all my baking powders, baking sodas in those because, you know, the, um, especially the baking soda, the box gets sort of flimsy Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's nice to have those all stored together. And here's the other thing. Like there's some that I, that I just keep in the little tiny jars. I only buy little ones because spices don't last forever. You shouldn't buy yeah, giant really spices don't. unless no. you like yeah. run an Indian restaurant or something. Like you just shouldn't <laughs> yeah. have that. Like I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, um, tartar. Uh, what's it? In, uh, what am I? Cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. Now I do actually use that. I use that in. I make my own tartar sauce. But for heaven's sakes, how often do I do that? It's not like I do it three times a week. Do you know that makes your omelets really puffy too? Oh, no. no. I didn't know that. Yeah, how much a, do you use? Just a, Well, it depends how much puff you like. Oh, there you uh, well, go. Just a little tiny bit. I would say like an eighth or a quarter, depending on how many eggs you're doing. But yeah, it gives it a nice fluff. If you like a fluffy omelet. I have. I mean, I'm stunned that I've never heard that. I'm going to, well, hey. Honey, I am full of surprises. (laughs) You do surprise. Yes, you actually are. I may, I may just need to buy a little more cream of tartar. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Speaking of full of surprises, mm-hmm. this woman has a talent for writing oh. and oh. and beautifully displaying flowers. And we have such a great tip for a Mother's Day gift, and that is my soulful home. Oh, you're talking about flowers. me. <laughs> We have a guest surprise. today. No, I'm talking about you. I mean, it's a wonderful <clears throat> book. And Thank so what you. she did was each month she selected an arrangement for that month with flowers that are season in season that month. And so it's just such a fun and easy read because it's not a huge book. So you kind of go through in each month, you've got a new arrangement and she tells you how to use it and throws in some tips and some fun stories. Like when she lived in London, which I really thoroughly enjoyed that story. So yeah, it's on a, we'll have a link here, uh, but it's a, make a wonderful gift for your mom or for, for yourself. Okay. And only, there'd only be one thing better than that is that if you paired that book with 
French accents oh, by yeah. Anita yeah. Joyce <laughs> and gave that to your mother for Mother's Day. Yep. Yeah. All right. I do have a couple others that I use. Obviously, I really like to have an or- organized kitchen and that's so important to me. But I got these little stackable cabinet shelf organizers and they just are they're plastic covered wires and they look if, you, if they look like a little coffee table they have legs and then they have like a flat surface across the top and we have shelves in our cabinets that we can adjust but this is so cool i i have only two kinds of coffee mugs but i do have a lot of them and if i can put that in the back of my um of my cabinet on that shelf on my coffee mug shelf i can fit the uh, mugs underneath of it and the mugs on top of it. And it gives me double the space. And I've used that. And you can even do that with canned goods or, you know, anything that you have um, height space that is wasted that you could use. You can put these little stack, these stackable organizers because you can stack on top of them and they give you extra space. And we'll put a link in the show notes for that. When we would, um, my, my girls first got their lockers, you know, and it's very exciting mm-hmm. when you're going to middle school and you get a locker, they oh, have that yeah. same exact thing for the lockers, right? So you can put oh, the books underneath okay. and you can put your water bottle or whatever. Yes. So it's, it, they really are uh, a great, uh, help in finding extra space because there's all that. Another good place. I don't, we're going out of the kitchen for one second, but another great place that that could be used is under your sink in your bathroom because normally yes. there's not a shelf in those mm-hmm. kinds I have- of that under my sink and the yeah it's got we're under your sink in the kitchen under your sink in the kitchen too yeah inevitably with the new year come wellness goals one very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Mm -hmm. And let's let's stay under your sink. That for me tends to be sort of a collection area. Like if you, if you spray it 
uh, squirt it or, you know, scrub it. It's sort that sort of all goes under there and you have to weed that out. So I'm, I allow myself two, um, dollar store white dish pans that I put under there and I can put the, the things that I need in there. So anything else has to go somewhere else. So, you know, I can just pull out that little dish pan and go, Oh, there's my silver cleaner, you know, and polish so I can polish something or, or there's, you know, that little scrubby brush that I like and, you know, pull that out because I don't like that stuff sitting up on my countertop. And that's a good way to do that. And those dollar store dish pans are so inexpensive. Oh, that's a great tip. <clears throat> yeah. Even if, if you use the tabs or even if you use loose uh, dishwasher um, soapy stuff, you know, um, you can put that on a pretty canister on your counter. Yes. And, you know, they're kind of swirly and colored and stuff. So you might want to just make sure it's an opaque one or, you know, enamelware or something mm-hmm. could be great uh, instead of having that under your sink. And so it gives you some pretty storage and useful storage. Mm-hmm. I have another really fun idea, and I'm sure everybody knows this, but I mean, we've done this for years, but maybe there's somebody out there that this could be your aha moment. When I have two kitchen trash cans that are built into my island, so I've got one near my prep area and sort of one on the far end near my kitchen table, and you just pull them out and it has two trash cans, one for just like, you know, trash and the other one for anything that we recycle. But, um, uh, you know, I, I try, you know, it's really a good idea to keep those trash cans clean. So after you clean it out and it's all sparkling, take your trash bags, take, you know, we take like a dozen of them at a time and throw them in the bottom of those of your kitchen trash cans and then put the trash bag in like you normally do, you know, like fit it in and, and put it over the lip of the trash can. So when you're done with one trash bag, you don't have to go looking you just pull out the next trash bag that's on the bottom of the trash can. Yeah, yeah I do that. I think it's brilliant. brilliant. I actually remember exactly <clears throat> where I was when I had that aha moment. Mm-hmm. So I hope someone out there is experiencing that now. If when you're dry, said it. If you're it was like a total a like yeah. palm to head. I was yeah. in Atlanta. We were staying with friends. It was 2003. Yeah. And oh my God. I said, Sherry, let me help you take the trash out. She had made us a nice meal and let me help you. And I, I, I pulled it. She's like, no, no, no. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. I'll help you pull the trash can out. And I see these other trash bags in there. And I was like, Sherry. She's like, yeah, it's Kelly. Of course. Why do you have to, you don't have to have the big box or the roll under your sink. You just put a whole bunch of them under there and then boom, it's done. You don't have to go look for it. If you are the Brilliant. one person who doesn't know that, please write in. You've and tell helped us. at least one person yes, today. Yes. And <laughs> yes, or and if you're person. driving, don't drive off the road. We know this yeah, is a big deal. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> That's right. And if you're like me, write it down somewhere <laughs> or call yourself and leave a voicemail so you don't mm-hmm. forget when you Email get home. Email yourself. I do that. Yeah, but you can't do that while you're driving. I do that well, all the time. You can oh, That's true. I hope not while you're driving. Yeah. And my other tip is label, label, label. Get a label maker and oh, label I love mine. everything. Like that's my yeah. best friend, my little label maker. I don't have yeah. a label maker. I don't oh, know. Kelly. This Kelly. is your tip, Kelly. Yeah, hashtag I don't know. What blown. am I going to label? Mine. Your, uh, mine, well, yours. Well, what your files for one thing. My and files. Then other yeah. things. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to think, think about that. Gonna, I don't want my okay. crappy handwriting all over those. There's oh. two things in life that I've discovered that are so fabulous. A label maker. I thought she was going to say, Kelly. <laughs> And Anita. Uh, Kelly and Anita. <laughs> I'm talking about things, not well, people. Because well, Bobby well, would have to be at the top of my list. Okay? Yeah, the label maker. Label maker and bullet journaling. Okay. Oh. Two things. Mind-blowing. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what else is mind-blowing is this tip we got from our listener, Pia. Okay. Nice Aww. job, Pia. And there were pictures. Um we did an episode on nightstands, as you will recall, yeah. you know, kind of like really interesting nightstands and all of that. And so Pia really enjoyed the episode and wanted to share with her, us a nightstand creation she had done years ago, and she was going to be recreating it for her daughter's room. So, you know, those inexpensive sort of like TV tray tables you can find. Sometimes yes. you see them in sets or yeah. there'll be one, you know, lonely one that got separated. Okay. Yeah. So she, she had one of those and- she 
decorated it. You could paint it. You would paint the wooden legs or whatnot. She decorated the top. Um, and then she put a skirt around it. Oh, oh stop. that is brilliant. It was so adorable. And I'm off the, I'm remembering now off the top of my head, it was like when she made it when she was younger. And so she had, you know, sort of like oh. pictures of things that she liked. It was like a collage and she put glass over it. So that was like when she made years ago, but now she was going to make one for her daughter. And then she would put a top on it or maybe a piece of glass or something like that. And then you don't have to be- worry about your water rings or whatnot. But underneath, when you now add the skirt, you have all that storage. Oh, I love mm, that idea. Great idea. And they're very slim profile generally. So if you don't have a lot of space, mm-hmm. that might really work. So Pia, whoa. Brilliant, Pia. Thank yeah. you. Awesome. Good one. All right. I, it is good. We. I just love anything that's organizing or a great tip. I'm I'm really a tipster, quote unquote. And I know that you. Pro- if you're listening, you probably do too. So make sure you send us these awesome tips because we like to um, give you a shout out and tell you, hey, good job and share it with all of our listeners. And um, we hope you had uh, a lot got a lot of good tips today. So remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey, everybody. We want to thank you so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. And we want to make it even easier for you to listen. And it's easier if you subscribe. You just click the subscribe button on our website, www dot decorating tips and tricks dot com or you can subscribe through Apple Podcast or any of your favorite podcast listeners. When you subscribe, DTT comes free right to you three days a week. So until next time.